hello, 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 hello. How are you? This is Elle's Kimmy from Beamus Craft Decor. And today, we're doing this. Uh, I was in the store the other day, and I saw, you know, they had all the, the new Tim Holtz stuff out. One of the things they had were these file cards. And I was like, those are cool. But I'm not paying $6 for six cards. <laughs> so, um, so I looked at them, and I said, you know, I'm going to go home and do something that's very similar. Uh, so, my own style... Uh, of these and this one is made out of just regular you know 65 pound cardstock and this one is made out of a leftover manila file folder so you know because we've all got those little bits and pieces and parts so what I'm gonna do and you know they've got the little card inside you know and um, this is this is a punch board project but if you don't have the punch board I'll show you how to do it exactly like this one without the punch board uh, I'm going to get all the supplies out and everything, and I will be right back. This one is so easy peasy quick, it, it's ridiculous, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get everything out for this, and um, I'll be right back. Be right back. All right, supplies on this one. As I said, this is a punch board. Now you can use your envelope punch board, your box board, uh, your three, two, one board. You could use the little envelope punch board. What you want is the one that has this little, um, like soft sway right here. That's, that's what you really are looking for. That little right there. Okay. Now, if you happen to have the board that punches tabs, all the better. I have one too. Um, <laughs> I think I have every board. Uh, you're gonna need a paper trimmer, scoreboard, score tools, and uh, cardstock or leftover manila folder for this. Uh, adhesive, I'm gonna be using uh, my regular adhesive today. And you're probably gonna want uh, a circle punch or something to punch, you know, the in it. If you do not have a punch board, you're gonna want another circle punch, another smaller one, if you've got it. And uh, I'll show you why, okay? so. I'm going to get some stuff out of the way and get some other things out. We're going to get started uh, on some cuts and scoring and all that happy stuff. And then we'll get this assembled. I'll be right back. All right. So I have some leftover pieces of file folder. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the envelope itself. And for that, we're going to want a piece that is six inches by four and a quarter. So let's cut this to four and a quarter. Just making sure that I have enough here to do this. Four and a quarter uh, by six. And this one is, uh, let's see, it's eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and take two inches off. Okay, that's going to be my base piece and then I need to cut for the pocket. It's going to be a two and a half inch wide piece by four. Two and a half by four. Okay. All right, so those are the two pieces that I need. The next part of this process is going to be some scoring. This is easy stuff, okay? on the long side doesn't matter which one it is um, but if you have writing on your file folder you're going to want that to be face up so that uh face down so that when you fold this you know all right so no pressing here just light scoring we're going to go at one and a half inches make sure that you're lined up on both sides one and a half inches just a light couple three four strips down there we go and then we're going to come out to four and a quarter. Again, three, four times, nice and light. All right. Turn. And at three eighths, that is the mark between one quarter and one half. Okay. Or one, two, three over. And we're just going to score that line as well. Okay. That's it for scoring. Now, we are going to be taking some of the material off of here, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that, and I'll be right back to show you which pieces we're going to be taking off and how we're going to be doing it. Be right back. All right, so first thing, 
we have these little valleys where we've scored it. We're going to turn the piece over. We're going to fold the bottom and both sides. Remember, hills to valleys, valleys to hill. Okay? We'll go ahead and give these a little bit of a burnish. And then we're going to be cutting some pieces off. Okay? We're going to cut off this square and this square. That's it. So just these two bottom squares. Just above that score line. Over to the score line and then we're going to wedge this little bottom piece. Bink. Wedge the bottom piece just above the score line. And when I say above, I mean to the larger side. And take that part out, okay? So you should have a piece that looks something like this. You should have a smaller side on one side, a larger side on the other, and a little flap at the bottom. We're going to take our circle punch, and on the smaller side, we're going to come in. We're going to line up the side of our punch right there on that score line. And we're going to punch out about a half circle. And then we're going to go ahead and glue this up. Glue on the bottom. Bring in the small side. Then we're going to put a little bit of glue up to center. Glue across the bottom of the other flap and glue up the side of that one. Okay, then we're going to bring that over. Give it just a second to dry. Now, if you want to ink this, you should probably do that before you glue it. It's up to you entirely. You can do it afterwards. All right, so while we're letting this dry, we're going to go ahead and work on our little card here for our file card. And I will be right back to show you what we're going to be doing for that, okay? Be right back. All right, if you have an envelope punch board, this, or, you know, a box, or a three, two, one, you're just going to put this card in so that the edge is right in the middle of your punch window there. Okay? And then you're just going to move this thing over about an inch. I move it over to... Um, right between five eighths and a half inch and I punch it there and you end up with this kind of dippy thing all you have to do is take this part off now you can use your scissors you can use your trimmer however you want to do this but you just want to shoot for that middle piece take that off and then use a corner rounder use the little one here it's got to fit in there. We're going to take that corner off, and I'm going to take the two bottom ones as well. Okay? Just because I like the way that looks. And that's the, that's the card. That's the easy part. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it without having one of these punch boards, and I'll be right back. Okay. So to do this without a punch board, if you take a small circle, this is a half inch. Um, all you have to do is come in on one side and look at your piece, okay? Bring this in about a quarter of the circle and punch it. And then come over as far as you want that tab to be. Go about halfway and punch it again, okay? And then do the same thing with your scissors. Aim for the bottom of that arch right there. Tab. Now, if you want this to be a little bit subtler, you can trim these off. It's pretty easy. Just put your scissors on them and just kind of fake to go around in a circle. There you go, okay? So that is without the punch board. 
this one is with the punch board. Right? Okay, so I'm going to be right back. We're going to go ahead and ink and decorate and do all that stuff. I'll be right back. All right, so we're going to be inking this up. I don't know that I'm going to put too much on the card itself because, you know, you start adding a whole bunch of stuff to it. It's not like you can journal on it, okay? But I am going to make sure that I ink both sides of it. Now, in the instance that you do want to put something on this, the mat for this is um, three and a quarter by two and a quarter, okay? So now I'm going to ink this. I'm not going to ink the back because, you know, I would glue this down in a book, in a journal. Um, so I wouldn't be inking the back, you know. Okay, so I have that. And the mat for this, I'm going to use this piece out of uh, Mirabelle. And so the mat for this is three and a half by two and a half. So let's do this. Two and a half. Three and a half. I am going to take a little bit of a snip out of there once I get this glued down. So let's go ahead and put some ink on the edge of this just to get rid of that white line. Now, as always, all of the measurements, score marks, all of that stuff is going to be in the description box below. So. this on and I'm just gonna snip that part back out oh no should have done this before what can I say all right now I have this little piece right here and if I want I can put this in here just like this and that's gonna give me um that look that it's finished on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and ink this real quick. I'm going to put some ink, uh, some glue on the back of this. And then I'm going to line this up on the front piece. Right there. And then press down. Okay. So now I have that all done very nicely. And I can put my, my card in there, just like that. I'm gonna re-ink right here. And we are good to go. That's it, guys. That's as, uh, that's as easy as it gets. All right, so if you're new here and you haven't done so already, go and hit that button for me and subscribe, like me, ring my bell, share me with all your friends. Then your friends can be my friends and my friends can be your friends and our friends can get to be friends. And before you know it, we have a giant crafting community. I go live on, let's see, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. And on Sunday, we play games. So come on out and join us. That's always fun. And let's see what else. I post videos twice a week, typically on Mondays and Wednesdays, but it could be any day of the week and it could be more than twice a week. And what else? If you want to know what's going on in my life, check out the community tab here on my YouTube channel. Go on over to the featured listings on my Facebook group. There's a link to that in the description box below. Go ahead and check those out. There's a list on both of those that I update on the regular. It is the who, what, when, where, and where of my digital life. Other than that, until I see you again, stay well, my friends. Bye-bye.